Good morning everyone. I had not planned on doing this video. At this point I was planning on having my taxi testing done already and pretty much being ready to go fly. Waiting on the FAA to give me my end number and get to it. <coughs> but as you can see, uh, my had a little bit of problem with the nose gear and it's off the airplane right now but I'm getting ready to put it back on. Hopefully we'll do some taxi testing today and I'll add this to this video. The issue here and the big thing that I want you to remember is that what we're doing is called experimental aviation for a reason. It's an experiment. And sometimes we do things uh, in experimenting that seem safe at the time and in retrospect we find out, well, that probably wasn't too bright uh, or didn't quite work out the way we thought it would. Now, here on the right is the first uh, nose wheel yoke that I had on the airplane. And you can see, obviously, it's cracked uh, and broken. Well, that happened at 17 knots uh, taxi speed. I got a huge shimmy on the nose strut, and it failed. And if you look at this part, you if you look at, at how it's welded, and you get a chance to, I mean, look at it, in some spots it looks like it was just tack welded. And honestly, the, the, the welding on this, kind of poor. Not, not a very good job. Um, at the time, it probably looked like it was going to work fine. But again, this is experimental aviation, and it didn't quite work. So at 17 knots, this thing, tax, uh, this thing failed, and as you can see, the, the, the strut bent this way, uh, or the yoke bent this way, and I taxied back not knowing how bad it was, and the nose wheel was about 20 degrees off center. Okay, so take a look at this. Look in here close. It, well, you're not going to be able to see it here, but the weld there is actually quite poor. Um, on that particular spot and this this uh, particular area was practically not welded at all. Now here's the replacement part next to it. You can see it's welded a whole lot better. It's got a couple of reinforcements on it. If you look at it from the top um, also you'll see that the top is welded much better too. It's reinforced all the way across the top and the sides and in the back it's welded significantly better as well. It's welded all the way across uh, on the bottom where all of the stress is going to be whereas this one this one wasn't it didn't even have that cross piece on it. Now the reason I'm bringing this up isn't to poke an eye, poke a silly aviation in the eye at all but it's to point out that when you're doing your testing you have to have a test uh, you have to have the test process in mind don't be going out there thinking that you're just going to zip around and everything's going to be great. You have to consider what could happen if something goes wrong. And with that in mind, start your test. Have a deliberate process for doing your test. I was increasing on this. I had no reason to think that that was going to fail. I was increasing my taxi speed by five knots in five knot increments. And this failed, this, this piece failed at 17 and a half knots. Taxi speed. Imagine what would have happened if I had landed and that had started shimmying. I probably would have taken the nose strut right off the airplane uh, if it had shimmied hard enough. Or at the very least, this would have, this, this part would have cracked and, and destroyed itself. And I would have ended up potentially damaging the nose or striking the prop or something else. Um, I didn't, and that's a good thing. So, Consider what you're doing. As you're doing testing, don't be cavalier about it. That first 40 hours of your test, the first taxiing, the increasing the speed a little bit at a time, everything you do, do it methodically and don't push it just because, woohoo, let's go. If you do that, you are asking for trouble. Now, uh, Bill and Azalea Aviation sent me a new part out, really excited about it. I'm looking forward to going out and testing later on this afternoon. Hopefully, I'll put some video on this of that taxi. But but have a plan, guys. The whole point, have a plan, execute the plan, do not exceed the plan. And always be thinking what would happen if something failed. Okay? I'm going to get back to I'm going to put this thing on. I'll take a couple of quick pictures of it, and hopefully we're going to go run around today. Talk to you later.
Okay, so last time we were here was, uh, gosh, a couple months ago. We've got a whole bunch of things changed since then. We're going to go through the checklist and uh, see if the, the new nose wheel is going to work okay. And that's the big issue today is how is this thing going to taxi? Uh, all I care about is getting the engine started, taxiing around a bit, and coming back. Let's see what happens. Oh. 